So, it was the winter of 2010. The austerity years had, I suppose, post-banking collapse uh, were taking its toll. We had just witnessed the worst devastating floods in a long, long time. There was a genuine sense of despondency in the air when Brendan Kelly, uh, ch- uh, chairman of the, of the development company, Seamus Duffy, and myself, Colin Crawley, had a few chats over the festive season. We approached a few pillar firms of the town and we were looking for them to get involved in a simple 32-page colour magazine every eight weeks with the advertising budget to become a in-flight magazine for the town. Wheel forward ten years later. And as we celebrate our 60th anniversary, we have grown in reach and content from some 32 pages and 3,000 copies to 64 pages and 6,500 copies every two months. We have a valuable platform in showcasing all the many positive attributes of our town, hinterland and community. Our wonderful advertising manager, Lynn Donnelly, has grown our supporters list to over 170 subscribers and advertisers. We have produced in the decade 600 or over 600 community videos that illuminate our town on the World Wide Web. And last year alone, the clips were viewed a massive 210,000 times. Any video report we make gets viewed by an average of 3,500 people and we have 6,600 and growing Facebook fans. Over the next few editions, we're going to offer all of the main sports, culture and community groups, starting with soccer, to undertake a decade look back on the developments. We welcome any personal reflections or reminiscences from our readers as well as um, uh, overseas. Floods, recessions, elections, tragedies and pandemic lockdowns have not stopped us printing our editions and we look forward to the next decade of growth.